Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make these videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like more information about how to find my patterns, please look in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry store, which if you click on it, you'll be taken to a page that has a whole bunch of pictures and you can browse through them and it'll show you the patterns that I have available for a digital download. And if you'd like to knit one up, you can grab one for yourself and I'd love to hear about it. You can either talk to me about it in the comments below or I, you will also find a link to a Facebook group, group that I have created where we can continue the conversation we're having here or you can post pictures because it's one of those closed private groups and I would love to hear from you. What I am doing for the next week or so is I am uploading pattern tours which is where I walk you through the details of new patterns and these patterns are specifically the patterns that are in my new book mosaic and lace mosaic and lace is or mosaic lace is a technique I've been working on where I combine slip stitch mosaic color work with lace to get color work lace Mosaic is particularly fun because you are knitting stripes and slipping stitches. You don't have to carry the yarn across the row. You're only carrying it up the side so there's no yarn management and therefore there are no floats to get the way in the way of your lace. Now, I'm so excited. The bark book is coming out March 31st. You'll find a link in the description below and if it's already passed, uh, the 31st I really encourage you to go to your local yarn store and see if they're going to carry it because I believe in supporting our local yarn stores but if not there's a link in the description below now in the book there are pieces that are mosaic lace where the mosaic and the lace interact and their slip stitches and the color work is actually in the lace but those can be a little more intimidating so I wanted to make sure the book had a multiple levels and so there are patterns in the book where the mosaic and the lace are both in the pattern but they're separate so they don't really interact so anyone who's just trying out mosaic for the first time or maybe is not so confident in their lace skills can get their feet wet while they're building up to the more intricate patterns and this is um Something I really didn't even expect to make at all, but it decided it sometimes patterns tell me what they want to be. And this is the Pinwheel Market Bag. It is in a Tacky Cotton Classic. It is a wor worsted weight cotton yarn, which is fabulous for these types of market bags. It is strong and it's not going to snag or catch it's not wool it's not going to stretch uh, cotton is super cool but it does stretch like crazy and as soon as you saw me pull out a bag you probably knew this was going to happen <laughs> see it's really big <laughs> sorry so there you can see the bottom of the bag <laughs> oh man I, I, I enjoy myself, what can I say? So this pattern starts with a circular cast on, on the bottom, and then you work concentric circles, and these are just, you can really see the stripes and you're increasing out. And I wanted to make a solid, sturdy bottom so that stuff doesn't fall out the bottom. But then you want to be able to carry a lot of stuff so then it sags into this simple lace mesh. You know, it's just decreases in yarn overs and you can see, can we see through it? You can see through it and you can take this to your farmer's market and stuff it with all the vegetables you possibly want or stuff a whole bunch of clothes in it. If you are going shopping, it is a market bag. But this stuff is so super stretchy. If you were to just bind off here, then it would just stretch like a big dog. It, it would be everywhere. It would just so... That is why I decided to take advantage of regular mosaic here because regular mosaic creates a really sturdy fabric. It's one of the reasons why I introduced lace because it's nice and sturdy and I wanted flow. But in this particular situation, I wanted sturdiness. So I worked this nice wide band of this pinwheel mosaic to stabilize the top of the bag so that 
you can stuff, as you saw earlier, you can stuff and stuff and stuff this part of it, right? But this part is not going to blow out. And then the way the construction works is once you've worked this panel of pinwheel, then you actually, in this stage, you do bind off. So you knit across and then you bind off stitches and then you knit across and then bind off more stitches and then you knit back to the end of the round. So you have two sections of live stitches. You transfer one section of live stitches to waste yarn and then you come back in and pick up the other section of live stitches and work them flat. And you work them flat until you have reached the top of here, right? Transfer that to waste yarn. Go pick up your other live stitches, which are hanging out on the waist yarn, super easy, and then work the exact same handle pattern again. You're just working the same thing twice. Now, I specifically say in the pattern, but I'm gonna tell you guys again here, at that point is when you want to block it because you wanna get your mosaic nice and you wanna get everything to drape nice, so you block it before you graft it. Lay it down, block it, and then once it's nice and neat, you come back and you have this few number of stitches and you're gonna kitchener them or mattress stitch them or you know what, whatever you want. I used kitchener, but you just put it together and I left you nice open things. And so you have your market bag. It has a nice wide handle here so that it will hold it here and it's not because it's cotton, it's got a lot of strength. So. That is the pinwheel market bag. I think it's pretty cool and I hope some of you guys out there might like to make it and go and stuff lots of veggies and groceries in here. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up, just click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.